it's it's kind of it's always <laughs> amusing. Like it's actually a, a, a pastime when foreigners visit us or whatever. Uh, we, we have foreign friends trying to get them to pronounce Danish stuff. It's all always amazing. Um, because it's just butchered in the best ways. Because the language is already pre-butchered. Every, every you know? place has their little shibboleths, but Danish is a language made out of shibboleths. Yeah. All right, I'm ready to uh, uh, pause. Whatever. I'm also ready. I'm also ready to pause. Shibboleth right. is a cool word. Um, I've got ninety-one percent, ninety-one percent over extension. I think that's bad, right? Yeah, but uh, you're not uh, at a hundred, so you're fine. Oh, okay, I just make everything a core and not expand for a while. And yeah, I yeah. don't know why the game. Well, let's see what your AE looks like. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't expand for a bit. In fact, you might get coalitioned. Uh, because Mon Fang, Mon Na, Senwi, literally all the guys were about to beat up, which is good. Okay, so we're about to fight a couple of the guys who are about oh to pull. Oh my god, you have collision shit. Daft, Jesus, okay. Yeah, that's all. Oh, uh, so Daft, a... Daft has insane levels mm. of bad boy right now, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, because I'm about to earn him a truce with three of the most problematic ones. And I think you yeah. can probably take on Ayutaya and Lan Na and Prome and Pegu and Senwi. With the, game is yeah. still, the game's um, still paused, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it is for me. Malaka and okay. Brunaya are my friends, at least. They I just had two me. really long, like, freezes. Oh. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what is going on with it. Well, I, oh, dear. You know, I, I've noticed whenever... Uh, Microsoft pushes out an update for Windows 10. Uh, my computer runs worse even when, until I update it. Mm. Can't imagine why that would be. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, Eki. That's actually okay. No, it's not. Oh my god, that's annoying. Eki so, or like Eki? <laughs> stupid <laughs> Confucian, stupid shit. Um, So I'm moving my guys into position to uh, to go to war with Mong Kong and their various friends. There's also some Assamese separatists. I'm going to just help them and avoid getting into a fight with them. Daft, will you be okay for me to call you into war? You won't get any aggressive expansion from this, and it will also truce you mm -hmm. with a couple of the people who are ready to join a coalition against you. Yeah, sounds good. Um, just let me know when I should start raising my uh, army maintenance, etc. Yeah, certainly. Um, start raising your army maintenance now. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just going to hit my next diplomatic tech as soon as the new year rolls around. And it'll get it's f at 5% too expensive. Ooh, that was... Openization. That's I like that. That's really good. It's really really good. What's that? Sorry. I paid one hundred two cats. I will oh, go nice. ahead. Ava just decided that they're not one. going to join the war. Oh right. Oh uh, hang on. Uh, daft, daft. Uh, lower your troops. I forgot that mm. I don't have a Cassis Bella yet. Uh okay. Stupid me. I forgot that I didn't have a CB to work with. So I just need to finish. Ah, oh, God, that's. That feels very. I, I feel very silly right now. Uh, maybe I can do something at Senwi. Do I have something at Senwi? Oh, I've I've got minus ninety karma, and that's after just having an event which gave me ten karma. So I must have been at like minus one karma. That is quite um, likely. <laughs> I'm at twenty five karma wow. right now. Um, so I'm going oh, to have wow. to get some bad boy points in the next little bit. Yeah, okay, so hold, hold on for a little bit. Um, because, yeah, I just need to get my claim fabricated first. Which I guess this is fine, because this gives manpower time to regenerate for both of us. Yeah. Imagine having manpower problems. Totally not something... At, Imagine having uh, manpower. <laughs> the infinite hordes of China are able to deal oh, with so uh, at a, a state's governing value is that um 
Is it a total development? Uh, what do you mean? The governing costs in the... You know, governing capacity. Uh, yeah. Your governing capacity is all of your development. But, okay. And I'll try to There's... To use that is. It, it, it's not like a one-to-one -to, -one to your development. There's modifiers, like, locally. Yeah, sure. And kind of things. I will p spend some money for a courthouse here because that is 51 development or whatever that will uh, go down. Oh, I can purchase an ability from Age of Reform. Wait, Age of Reformation? Is that? Yep, oh, okay. Age yeah. of Reformation. Yeah. We are. <laughs> oh, the HFI. Okay, yeah. Okay, I, I meant. Uh, okay, I remember yeah, now. I, yeah, it triggered really early, didn't it? It was like before Christopher Columbus was. I mean, or just after. Um, oh my God! Why are these pretenders so strong? Ship trade power propagation plus twenty percent. That sounds pretty good for me. Okay. Oh, institution spread and true faith provinces. I, I guess true faith is your, like your religion for yeah, your country. Exactly, um, which is really good because we are both very high true faith because we don't have religious diversity. No, we don't do that here. We don't believe in that. <laughs> I mean, just. Uh, oh. I had a huge trouble stack spawn on top of my army. I got stack wipes. Oh. Shit. Oh. I, well, good job it's, it wasn't my whole army, but oh, that's painful. Uh, yeah, want me to send some uh, guys down there to help with that? No, that's, that's okay. I've got money in the bank. I'll just have to rebuild. Um, I've got manpower as well. Good, good. Uh, well, that was ouch. I lost like 15,000 men to that pretender stack because new king who dis. God damn it. Why can't you just beat up Korea? That's not how we work. It's annoying. Actually, maybe I should hire some mercenaries for this. Wait, no, no, that's about no, it. No, don't get mercenaries. It's definitely not worth it for something like dealing with the little rumble stuff. Yeah. It'd be much better if I sent some guys down your way. Uh, just derping out here. Okay, production in phase. Here we go. I'll start to get some more troops going. <coughs> That's probably worth it. Man, is it ever worth building courthouses to reduce state maintenance? I feel like state maintenance is, is so I, cheap. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm actually doing it at the um, moment uh, because I need to get my... That, I don't have that, a lot of it, so... The state maintenance isn't as important. The province governing cost is. Yes. Mm, that makes sense. I just want to doubt so I can add some more states here. Like putting those in your 40, 50 development places that are not your capital? Really helpful. Well, actually, is all of my states? Uh, yeah, actually, everything I have is states, I think. What? Cairo? Is it a state? Yeah, it is! Especially, not, I don't need to do it then. Okay, that was dumb. Well, I need to do it in a moment. Oh, whoa, I just learned where the Timurids are. And they're not looking oh, good. Cool. Oh, uh, wait. Malaka is fighting Ayota now. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, they're weak enough. And they want the lands that they have claims on.
I really need to get my debt down. I just felt like uh, stomping, stomping on the Timurids a little bit just for the heck of it. Wait, you're going to war with Timurids? No, 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 no. I just had a spy network constructing on them and it got very high, so I just sabotaged their merchants, even though they're already getting absolutely wrecked by all of their neighbors. Oh, wow. So I was like, eh. Oh, I've got 40k army. That's the biggest I've had so far. Nice. Well, uh, uh, once you've once you've fought those guys, um, are you ready to fight Mong Kong? I I will be. Yeah, because my troops are raised. Um... Mine are as well. <laughs> I forgot to remove like the Shiba uh, from my stream. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Oh shoot! Um, Ever since okay, mm, Bengal oh. just joined in. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, let's see if I can get an angle, a different angle here, because in the like few minutes since. Oh, Ava just straight up duck. Um, let's see. Uh... Oh my gosh, Korea is becoming mandate of heaven. Well, it does mean that uh, you will have a actual reason to fight them, Hobo, which is good. Yeah, I'll be able so, to um, take land from Jianzu. Korean, uh, Korean China, is that where we're headed right now? Yeah, Korea becoming the center of China somehow. Wow. Like how Korean is in its very own special culture group. Yeah. Wow, this was actually a pretty huge rebellion. It's cost me like twenty thousand manpower, um, three to four hundred ducats. Over extensions down to seventy six percent. All right, I'm declaring the war because Bengal just stopped confirming, so things have been very unstable in that area, but I'm going to declare it now because this is a Good moment for it. Okay, well, uh, here we go. I'll send all my cavalry and some um, of my yeah, no, infantry. Uh, do I call you in? Hang on, did I forget? Oh yeah, I, I forgot to call you. In. Okay, um, and I will promise to give you no land because your overextension is scary right now. Yeah. So I'll just call call you in. Accept. Wow, Ayutthaya developed their capital to 38. Gonna see a developed capital look at Lhasa. My capital is 51. I'm hearing all this to the tune of the song My Dick. I don't know how, yeah. I mean, It's a very crude but very hilarious song. Yeah, that, that, that part I got. <laughs> um. Yeah, what, what was the clue that it was a little bit crude? Possibly the fact that the song's name My Dick better than yours. Actually, a little bit annoying that I got gold mines. Like, I, I like it right now, but. Well, I'd probably compound interest stuff pretty good in the long run, but. Yeah. I will need to get these loans paid. My uh, my little colony down there in uh, it's not Singapore. I'm not quite sure. Oh, is this? Oh, yes. no, it's not Stop Singapore. winning! Uh, it's, anyway, it's the southern, so, southern tip of uh, of Sumatra. 
It's it's not self-sustaining anyway. Yeah. Uh, what my next colony? Did we get? Uh, did you get legitimacy from positive prestige? Um, which level of? No, not really. Okay. Uh, all right, given the rough terrain, I'm going to send half my army through at a time. Where would you want me to go, Chaos? Uh, looks like you've got oh, things under uh, control pretty much, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, uh, I guess I that's guess we'll go to If you can go to Senwi or Ava. Either one of those. Uh, I can read maps. Uh... Are those province names or? Uh, Senwi is a country. Ava is also a country. They're the two in uh, central Burma. Hope I'm sorry, but apparently. Okay. Apparently, sorry. they want my. Okay, I'm going to divorce your your family member. Yeah. It's not what that under. It's really annoying. She'll make you commit. Sudoku <gasps> for that. Oh no. So, so I'm saying just there you go. I didn't bring any artillery with me, so this might take a while. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Just shout obscenities at scathing obscenities at the wall, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Starve them out. Print and press another one is coming soon, of course, because of course it is. Two and a half more years until my aggressive exp or, yeah, aggressive war exhaustion is gone. It is still 8.6 more to core. But I've shaved like 200 monarch power off just by waiting, even if it's made my economy in the toilet because of paying an extra 13 ducats a month and rooting out corruption. Mm. Okay, my artillery is not here. Excellent. Fucking oh, repair launch. Okay. Um. Da -da -da -da. Every time I repay a loan, I get like plus one income. Feels good. Yep. Inflation is crazy though. That's part of why I didn't like the gold mines, but... You could actually have a lot of... One risk to your switch fires and ripples. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Japan manages to have two gold mines. Yeah, I got that. So... 
Yeah, I have one. I should develop it at some point. Oh my goodness, I'm getting freaking Hamburg sieges again. <laughs> uh. I should get a half a ducat of gold income from doing this. Yeah, let's do that. What's here? Cool, I finished sieging Sandwich. Oh, nice. Alright, I'm dispatching a small uh, horse to help you siege on Ava. Why can't I do that? Okay. I'm um, I'm keeping all those troops in those provinces because I think if I move them, the provinces are going to revert control at the end of the month, aren't they? Because it's ordering a enemy port which we haven't taken. There you go. Korea now has landed of heaven and took a lot of Jin Sao. Jesus. Um, it only Seriously? Shifts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hong Hong Wu the first is current emperor of China. Wow, that's so cursed. <laughs> Yeah, just to note, it only shifts if you uh, are not sieging the fort in the zone of control. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying I'll keep my, keep my army there. So, uh, Korean Monday of heaven, isn't it? Seems to be migrating from, you know, actual China and <laughs> northeastern Asia. Look at you speaking Asia. as if Korea is not part of actual China. How uh, Sinocentric <laughs> of you, sir. Huh. Not accepting that Chinese-ness comes in many different shapes and forms, some of which uh, have the Taeguk in their flag. Um, it's the little Korean yeah. looking thing. Oh, right, yeah. Game, I have a question. Why would I support the independence of anyone over there? That's a fine I, question. Oh, oh boy, I want to be dragged into a war against Jianzu that I get nothing from. I do have a few provinces in the Beijing note, though. Yeah, I'm still aiming for Girion. I, I, I can actually reach them now with colonies. Um, I think I'll wait a bit, but I can. Ah, uh, Tsuki and Mino. I don't know where any of these provinces are. It's like, at a time I read anything. Um, where's Mino? Yeah, like, what even is a Copen? Here? That is. Oh, well, you don't it, know where I, I think it translates as Market Harbor, doesn't it? Uh, bought a harbor, a bought harbor. Oh, I always assumed that like coping is like coping, like market. Well, it's like most stories. I think like Vicky says it's uh, it's like yeah, ma ma market a harbor. But um, the, like the story is that it's named b like that because it's literally a harbor that was bought. Uh, coop, um, um, coop means buy. Um. Uh, Daph, could you transfer these occupations to me as they come up? Um, sure. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna see if Senwi is gonna accept annexation, and I'm gonna see what the cost of that would be. Oh, they're, they'll almost accept annexation. I'll get a lot of aggressive expansion for this. Hmm. But I think it would be funny enough to be worth it. I didn't realize there's another province there. Jeez. Okay. Um, oops. I thought it was all one province with a river going through the middle. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, well, well, that one's not got a four, so it's basically. Yeah. Um, so let me. Oh, there we go. Uh, the fort. 
Christmas at you. Bless you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where, <laughs> where is that? Oh, there it is. I found it. Number okay. Two, son of Azim. All right. Uh, if you press F, it'll bring up a uh, search bar where you can just uh, type I, in the I name. Press F. I know. Yes. It's so like uh, next to me. We are still at no, 11, which means Alt, I will keep up Alt. in a moment. Okay, oh, send, you... me, send me off nice. the map. Now. Do I get a 4 4 5 air when my dude's only 22, but they're a weak claim, or do I wait? Uh, I, I. Wait, I think. Wait, I just got Noble Rebels going through. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, if I was like 15 years older, I'd say sure, but no. This is where so I get like stats, but the thing one. is, like, you'll probably just like die a moment after he inherits, anyways. So, yeah. I mean, I could always step down for that person, but at the same time, you know, it's uh, they're already going. They would already be a weak claim, so my mm. nation would not enjoy it. Elephants. It's got an event called Elephants. Mm. From it's trying to be so that as well. Mm. Um, so, Iggy, uh, are we waiting for something uh, to happen? No, 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 yeah, just, just a sec. I'm, I'm just trying to see what sort, of, what sort of peace deals I can get out of these guys now that we've entirely kicked them down. Uh, I think, having gotten diplomatic ideas, I can now grab a lot of these guys without getting so much uh, aggressive expansion. So, I'm going to take Ava... Uh, let's see. They're slightly too big for me to, to vassalize, but I can force tribute from them. Not part of the war goal and will cost extra. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just take some of their land then. Yeah. Land would also not be part of the war goal and cost extra. Yeah, but I'm willing to take extra for land. Taking extra for tributaries, like, eh, come on. And I know that these are expensive. I know. Okay, I'm going to Dang. take... Let's see. Yeah. Wow, interesting. John... No, I know. Jianzu has a couple of claims somewhere. I just clicked on. But nope. K Korea now has permanent claims over all of China. <laughs> because they own the mandate. Well, good luck with your 24,000 troops. Korea, it's great. You do you. Alright. And the mandate is just collapsing too. Which is great. Alright. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take three territories from them and uh, take some of their money. And that's just for eight. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Now I'm what? just at war with two more guys. I'm gonna, man, I'm going to eat something really bad here. I, I, I'm all right. Tibetan vassal is what I demand of Kale. Healthy. Yes. <laughs> so Kale, you just straight up become a vassal of me. Why can't you eat Kale? Kale has the. Arguably the hardest achievement in the game, yes. harder than three mountains. Control all the grasslands in Asia before the age mm -hmm. of absolutism. Oof. Yeah, which is nuts. Okay. They will seed Fungut to Tibet and then become my vassal. Alright, cool. Nice. I like, no, it says grassland and not like farmlands, but still, you have to do everything from conquering Jianzu to going down to Majapahit to conquer stuff from them. Uh, gotta go through India as well, because India has a crap load of grasslands. I think Uzbek might even count as Asia, so they have a couple grasslands. So you basically have to conquer 
There we go. I'm finished. Everywhere. Uh, Upper Burma looks horrifying right now, but don't worry, I'm going to absorb most of them soon. This is awful. I hate it. <laughs> you sh you you're right to hate it. Also hate the uh. Ah, uh, well, I get a four four one. Well, not as good, and only a couple years after I rejected the previous, so not that great either. And you didn't even get a strong claim, so we're gonna have the same legitimacy issues with you too. Thanks. All right, so that pushed me down to minus fifty four karma, which is pretty funny, but pretty deserved. Ava, oh, it's not too bad. Uh, uh, Roshitachi. That is. Okay. I think it'd be great to play Shogun Total War with Angst just so I could try to get him to pronounce more Japanese. <laughs> is Hitachi wrong? Damn it. Tibet may want to try and seek an alliance with Balmanis, despite the fact that Balmanis is allied with Bengal. Yeah, maybe. Uh, they won't accept an alliance so, right now, though. Oh, yeah, just, you know, seek one, because Balmanis, uh, A, only has one other ally, and uh, two, they're shaping up to be the strongest power in India. Yeah, yeah, that's, that seems solid. <laughs> The funny thing is the only people who really got upset about what I just did there are all the absolute nothing burger states that that Daft and I have created and <laughs> carved out in Burma and northern Thailand. It's like, yeah, what are you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? Oh, I see uh, Malacca has expanded up the peninsula, so... Ayata is now like four provinces and might want to try and keep them that way for a while as a buffer stakes. I know as soon as I get a border with Malacca, they're probably going to start hating on me. As the AI does. You have to defend your fellow Theravada Buddhists. Um, wait, is that Ayata, right? Ayata uh, are yeah. Theravada Buddhists and they've just been conquered by some Muslims since Malacca hmm. is an Islamic sultanate. Right, average local autonomy is down to 15%, which is very really good. Alright, all of my uh, estates like me, so it's time to seize their stuff. Ah, looks like the person that asked me for support of independence is doing it anyway. Which means, if they weaken... Jianzu enough, I may be able to declare war on the separate nations that Jianzu are allied with. Be great. Huh, I'm mm. burning. Hmm. Huh. So, um, I'm just looking at the religion screen. I could actually uh, convert to Vajrayana a Buddhism, uh, which, is, um, which is Chaos's religion. Yes. It would take a lot of, lot of work to convert. You can basically go okay. from a bunch of uh, monks wearing red and orange robes Buddhism to weird chanting and a mountain temple Buddhism. It's tempting. I'm not going to do it right now because I hate you have overextension and everything. But it's... I, I, I recall a, a friend explaining different varieties of Buddhism, of saying it's like, okay, well, you've got like. Uh, protesting monk Buddhism, and you've got magical kung fu mm. Buddhism, and then you've got... <laughs> but he used the phrase magic Buddhism for Vajrayana, which I think is a pejorative, but kind of reasonable explanation. <laughs> It's 
just because I'm curious, because I need to go super professional about it. What's the differences between the two? Oh my god, my war exhaustion is finally gone. Still went from almost 999 power to 260 to core four territories. Oh no! Oh, I had another rebel army spawn on top of my army, which was some minimum morale. Uh, Didn't get stacked up this time, though. That's good. Do you want me to send some I'm... to your land, or are you good? No, I'm good. I, I'll just raise my uh, maintenance now. I should be able to crush them. Not that big. Okay. Thank you, though. Okay, so basically Theravada is the most sort of like when you think of like stereotypical Buddhism with a sort of like, you know, a little stupa with a golden statue of the Buddha in it. That is Theravada. Uh, sorry, that is, um, yeah, that is um, Theravada Buddhism. And then when you think like uh, prayer flags and uh, Tibetan Buddhism and Lamas and stuff like that. That is what you're talking about with Vajrayana Buddhism. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got uh, Mahayana, which is the kind of Buddhism that's really popular in East Asia. So like Vietnamese Buddhism, Japanese Buddhism, uh, Chinese and Korean Buddhism is Mahayana school. Yes. Does that All um... ultimately emerged out of India? Yeah. The uh, the uh, the last one you mentioned, I don't think it exists on the map anyway. More working on it. Yes, uh, the only country that starts with Mahayana at the start of the game is um, Vietnam. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I converted them all. Yeah, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, you destroyed the religion. Yeah. To Oops. be fair, Mahayana is like the worst one. Um, ah. At least game-wise. Mm. Theravada has 10% cheaper advisors, which is good for late game, and Vajrayana has 5% morale of armies. So. I'd say yeah, I mean, the the, um, the army morale is tempting. Sorry, did you say the, the version of Buddhism I've got gives you cheaper advisors? Because that yes. sounds good. 10% cheaper advisors. So I, I don't think it's I don't think it tells me anywhere. Oh, oh, yeah, it does actually. I'll hover yeah. over my icon. Yeah, advisor cost minus 10%. That one of heretics plus two. That's, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. You might want to keep that long term. Uh, oh, I just got a victory card. Central Thailand, called and controlled. Uh, bonus 1,000. I have victory Point. cards in York Ice areas, so I'm not going to, to mention them. Yeah. Literally, you three. That's my victory cards. Yeah, yeah. The victory cards are biased to spawn on other humans. Oh man, Delhi's having a bad time. Maybe I should go to war with Chagatai now. Oh goodness, yeah. Afghanistan would join to help, but Delhi wouldn't. How strong is Afghanistan looking right now? Afghanistan has 20k troops, Chagatai has 10,000, and I've got claims on a bunch of Chagatai. But I have to be careful because I'm going to have a bunch of provincial unrest firing somewhat soon.
Yeah, uh, Hobo, you're not interested. They're fighting something else. Let's see what you're fighting. I mean, okay. Yeah, also, there, is there a core co coalition, I presume? It's literally one dude with one province, but I'm going to be uh, punching Jian Zhu momentarily. Korea does only have like 15,000 troops. How could it set somehow? It is ten development. So I might be able to snatch key. I forgot to explore for like million years. Actually, I think we'll wait a bit with that. I will go. Bengal just rivaled me. Well, excellent, because I also have been meaning to beat up Bengal for a bit. I will note, uh, Mr. Bonky Inu, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? I am going to be fighting Wu in my cycle of, uh, punching. Oh, yeah, fighting, uh, all right. Um, and Wu is allied with Korea, so I will have to be fighting Korea, uh, not next, but uh, after. Yeah, I could go for Yubang and go for the best. The problem is that the navy is much larger than mine, I think. 62 ships, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat that, but the rest is looking pretty good. Oh, well, I don't need to punch Jian Zhu. What are they now doing? Fighting. Yeah, Jian Zhu is and uh, they got weakened enough that even though they hate my guts, they don't want to uh, hop in. More territory for me, and more falling behind on uh, admin tech. That's my favorite thing to do. This we actually can't ain't, ain't, ain't anything. Oh god damn it! Okay. Um Libras. Okay. Um Wait, where does it spawn? Uh oh, it Germany. spawns in the Germany, yeah. Origin Kel Kelji, I've got no idea what that is. Sel Selger? Kelger? Oh my god, my cores. Wow. I'm actually making money again. So I'm going to finish fighting the shoe here, and then 
once I take them, I am going to declare war on the Wu, which will drag in Korea. Ooh. Right. Question is whether I should go for Korea or Shikara. Do we do separate balls or do we like... I would say separate wars because I'm not fighting Korea directly. Hmm. No worries, I had a bit of extra cash. I need to refresh this claim on a 23 dev province before I declare the war, but that's fine. Well, that was really freaking quick. Jesus Christ. Castile has reached... Actually, Spain has reached... Moritorius. Hmm. However you're supposed to pronounce it. Mauritius. Like Mauritius, Morris's they, island. They reached there. That's the point. The island of Morris. That in the uh, Indian Ocean somewhere. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. I, I don't think I can actually see it right now. I'm not up fighting Castile at the moment, I'm very sad about that. Alright, hey, Woo. Come here, boy. The shoe has fallen. Did the other shoe just drop? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, how does it feel yeah. to have the shoe on the other foot? But that that was also works. Works. That puts me at war with Korea and the Shun, but I just need to siege, siege Shun's capital and that'll be fine. Um, twenty percent of the way to uh, having one province with Dingbros. I could just make Ishison even more absurd. Oh, you already dot tank. Okay. Um, yeah, I should have case declaring war on Wu. Yeah. They sunk my explorer boats. Rude. Oh, no. Not your they're, just coming, they're just coming back in the port and they didn't even get to finish. So have you gone for exploration ideas, uh, Hobo? Yeah, like I said, I want to try and lock the. Uh, Westerners out of Asia. Oh, yeah. Which is going to include me putting thousands of ducats into making uh, ports to increase my naval force limit so I can fight Spain on the <laughs> ocean. Well, I feel like we can cooperate on that front because uh, I'm going to be building a navy anyway to um, deal with the likes of Majapahit and whatnot. Mahajapit, Mahajaki, Pupahapit. Uh, you, you know, those guys, whatever, whatever you call them. I've, I've already got four, four heavy ships. I chose uh, Pupahapit because he's Pupin. Oh, that's the name for a German toilet, the Pupin Farton. <laughs> We're so much sure. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just says, hair poop and fart, and I'm like, ah, ha, ha, ha. So, uh, Chaos, I was taking a, a sneak peek at the D&D chat on this. Um, so it looks like yes, it's going to be starting in, 
2 a.m. my time, so that's still over an hour from now, if you guys want to play on for a bit. I don't know you, why would I want to do that? Yeah, I don't want to play without you. Um, that um, wait, no, wait, I mean, I misunderstood. Uh, wait, so, so yeah, I'm saying so. I think I'm I'm perfectly happy to stay up for a bit, but I know um, Iggy has D and D. Yeah, but it's it's it's, 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 it's it's an hour and a half away from now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm happy to play on for a bit. Hmm. Regrettably, we have lost the ability to insult the Shiva for divorcing us. Uh, uh. Wait, Hanks divorced you? What? Yeah. Why did that? Why? Because, what because otherwise, I've got like crazy um, uh, national oh, unrest. So I was not ready for oh, that. Oh, was it an event? <laughs> event yeah. thing where the. Yeah. The um, the queen tries to convert a province to her religion. Is that? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Oh, you could uh, embrace Confucianism. Confucian. I'm uh, I've got to try the Shinto thing. thing. I don't know the mechanics, embrace but. Confucian uh, thought. Oh no, it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. Uh, Embrace Confucian thought. What? Re huh? Really? Really, Wu? That's what you're gonna do? You're just gonna immediately... Is Wu trying to woo you? They're, they spent 50 military power to do, to immediately try and break a hole in the wall. You could tell when that happened was because before the first siege pip even happened, it goes through. Get out of here, you bother me. Was well, almost paid off my loans. I just realized there's a uh, panda on top of this province. Oh, a panda, did you say? Yeah. That's cute. Oh, do you, do you see that on the map somewhere? Yeah. You have to be in one of the special map modes, so... No, it's, uh... He's just there. You're saying there's a panda on the map? Oh, you don't see this. Is it when you're looking at uh, the, uh, the terrain? Terrain map mode? Sorry, I was going to get a picture, but my picture thing screwed up and I had to wait for it to finish taking a bad picture. Oh, I see it actually. In, well, I see one in Wu Wing. Is that where you are? There's a black and white creature oh. and... That's definitely a panda actually, yeah. It's hanging out in the forest. Ah... Uh. Okay, I'm seeing another one in Wu Ling. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure where Hu Zhao is. Uh, I'm, I'm oh yeah, there's, there's another one there too. Hu Zhao is in Wu. Uh, I saw that Pegu is planning to beat up Ayutthaya. <gasps> Interesting. Kind of like that Death's aggressive expansion is also like crazy, but he's just out performing this neighbor so much, I guess it doesn't matter. The land that I'm taking is worth so much because of the development. That five provinces is a 99% of your extension.
I guess you're not even firing through, yeah, directly, I guess. Ah, it just means more waiting for me. I can, I can, uh... Yeah, I'm about to uh, fight a Korean... Well, never mind. I was gonna say I'm about to fight a Korean army, but no. I should have, otherwise they would, I would have been defending yeah. the mountains. I'm, I'm not going before this, like, semblance of... Because I... How many soldiers do they have? They have 31,000 now on this way ahead of me. Just pay back debts and stuff. Um, where do you actually see your own aggressive expansion thing? Uh, I use a map oh. mode I've chosen. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, there's an aggressive expansion map mode that lets you hover over different countries and see their aggressive expansion opinion of you. Um, is it under is diplomatic it... map modes? Or uh, yes, uh, it's, it's under diplomatic map modes. I think. I uh, don't see it. Maybe it's political. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, uh, Hobo, if you, during peace field with Korea, forced them to give Ashikawa, um, I can really compensate you with some money, I think, but I don't even know if that's important for you. You probably have infinite, that, infinite money at this point. That 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 would cost me um, Dip diplomatic power, yeah. power, and I don't really have a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, I presume that's more your problem than money. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, I may be making, like, uh... 20 ducats a month if I'm not paying for the extra forts that I've sieged. Hmm. I'm up to 18 ducats a month at the moment, actually. It's quite good. Did you really... You better have access. Oh, Jen's showers suck. <laughs> yeah, Jen Zhao lost more land, but uh, luckily for me, they lost land that uh, I don't want, because I want uh, the rest of the bay. Because yeah. that's. I guess Chinese, we are. Uh, are we aiming for a. Uh, for... For me, for uh, Girin and you for all of Beijing, I guess. Is that like the general plan? Well, I just wanted uh, the rest of Jianzu that is on the left, because that's yeah, really Chinese. Yeah, exactly the... exactly. And, and then uh, that's pretty much it. That's really cool. Yeah, I would definitely be I'm definitely up for that. Like, I just feel the serotonin for paying back these loans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels so good, man. Yeah, it literally does. Like, that's generally how I play EU. Oh, that's a cute panda, just so on. Um, just breaking my country, and then uh, fix it later. <laughs> oh, wait, what was that again? Um, Monsoon, monsoon. Oh, I have a question about building manufacturers. Um, yes, sir. Oh, oh I, was, I was about to say, is it worth building them? Because it looks like there's minimum profit from them. But I'm seeing some provinces actually have like plus four to five uh, that trade power, I guess, or um, goods produced. So, I don't know if it's worth the expenditure, but. That's a lot more than most of the provinces are like. It'll give you 0.15 ducats a month. Yeah, the first yeah. manufactories you unlock are not actually that great. Hmm. But uh, as you unlock more of them, uh, like weapons manufactories and trade stations and whatnot, then you start to get the ones that actually affect uh, the good trade goods. Yeah.
Yeah, returning those cores to Ashikaga would be 88. Yeah, to worry about it. Power for me. Man, it sure is annoying to siege through Korea when they have a single fort that blocks access into the intersection. I made a mistake, I... Oh, the wrong province. Uh, That's annoying. Yeah, I spent like a hundred uh, military power. In the wrong place. It happens. It happens. Well, I guess maybe I got extra manpower from that at least. Nice, I just won the Siege of Kashgar. Now it's time to cut off these Afghans who have uh, rather unwisely set up in my mountain fort. China, being the leading trader of Chinaware, never would have guessed. Uh, <laughs> Not for all the China in China, sir. Are, uh, are you okay over there? Because I see. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I've got old, a guy. I've got a guy dealing with it. Watch this guy's about to come. Boom. Bolt, bolt stun. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That th those areas just outside my first fort. You see. Hey, feel free to call me in if you want. I could send some cavalry up there. Uh. I'll, I'll call you. Yeah, I mean, sure, yeah. If, if you want to, I'll call you, sure. I still feel like I owe yeah, you just, for... Just, just send up a little little force if you'd like. Um... Uh, why can't it move? My... Uh... Oh, I've... I think I'm actually blocked off from... Yeah, you, you'll have to get military access from some people, probably. Uh, everyone hates me, unsurprisingly. Yeah, um... Lana is like minus 200 to me. Um, might be able to get through Chansang, but it's going to take a while. I'll have to improve relations. Uh, just a note, Angst, I did just stack wipe a uh, like oh, half a Korean so. army. You got it, thank you. I'm not going to the cable. Yep, because the other half is sieging a fort over here right now, so yep. I know exactly where it is. Unless they have more than 15. Alright, here we go. The Battle of Rutog. I'm defending in the mountains on a fortress. Outnumbered uh, 28,000 to 25,000, but their morale is absolutely collapsing already. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh yeah, that's solid. Nice. Alright, split up my forces again. Oh yeah, everything's coming together. And I also just sieged down Chagatai's capital. Hey, there you go, there's Ashikaga. Wait, did I join them? Oh, it's just that you're actually oh, changing yeah. them. Yeah, the, the moment you said the stack wipe, I checked out the... And Korea was not interested in joining. Well, I will siege Korea long enough to punch some money out of them. 
Excellent. 500? Wow, I could go 100% war score. 500 ducats. I want war reparations. Oh, there goes their capital. Oh, all the Uzbeks are dunking on them now. Uh, uh, hang on, I got this. I got this, I got this. Their futures are pretty ooze bleak. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, John, so ha, huh. poor bastard. They've been having such a good time, too. Oh, I did not realize their whole army was there. It's gonna hurt. Actually, I'm flipping it around. Hurry up with your siege over there so I can actually leave and Korea doesn't join that war. I don't think they can, but uh, yeah, uh, if the, it, was, if it, it was a 78 for a while, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, if the war score ends up being low enough, they can. Oh, yeah. Good. There we go. Okay, give me your. I must have accidentally clicked on something else to make me that high. Give me your money. I have uh, entirely destroyed their army as well. Hey, and so they're having to rebuild it from scratch. What's the manpower even at the moment? 40k. Okay, so I do still have it though. Yeah. Ah, that looks like a close battle. Oh, uh, I was looking at the battle in Badar Kashrush. So I'm debating if I just want. These guys aren't retreating very far. I would not be, not be happy if these guys get wiped, but it may happen. At last! 
Why did they only broken retreat one territory away? When my other guys literally ran halfway across China. I have the power! Specifically, the, uh... Empire rank. Oh. Finally hit over a thousand development, which means now I accept all the Chinese cultures. It's automatically. That's excellent. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot Manchu is technically a Chinese culture. Even though it doesn't exist yet, because Manchu will never form at this rate. I just became a great power? How did... what? Was Korea great power? Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know who you pushed yeah, off. Yeah, um, Mamluks dropped off. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, Mamluks have completely oh. collapsed. They only have four ter five territories left. Oh, wow. You mean the Timurids? Because it's definitely not Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, Timurids. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, the Mamluks are still pretty chunky, it looks like. But, yeah, I guess they're just not, not very developed. How important is Miltec 12? Uh, I think that's a new entry level, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, don't know. Yeah, it's funny. Tibet and Afghanistan just fighting over the Western Himalayas is like, this is the worst place to fight ever. He attacks into me, I kill him. I attack into him, he kills me. And I'm like, hmm. And this, this ain't gonna be a thing. I'm debating, like, I could probably keep doing the war. It just becomes a matter of, like, how much do I want to pay? Like, I'm kind of willing to wait out Chagatai. They took Mahi. I was hoping that I could take Mahi before they could. Fall of Kyoto! Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Okay, Japan. so actually, let me just think about this because I just got offered to change things. I don't think I want to. Um, Japan has. Oh my god, just got like a million missions here. Okay, anyways, okay, uh, so Japan's million. missions. Japan missions. Uh, ideas useful. I think Japan is like. So the thing is, like, I get like twenty percent goose production for myself if I don't switch. Uh, better discipline, okay. Twenty percent manpower, okay. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry. At what point is there? Oh, I am literally point one anger in a bunch of provinces enough that if they rose up, it would be 96,000 particularist. I mean, 5% discipline and 20 plus sit line increase, lesser aggressive expansion is not important for me, but 15% infantry convertibility. I guess that Japan is just better. Um, I get yeah, the Japan only really good thing I combat oriented. Yeah, let's see. I get the same manpower as that's... Okay, I think it's better for to actually to get uh, get Japan here. I gotta go uh, pee quickly, but feel free to carry on. Um, all good. Yeah, I, I just picked up the new stuff. I think? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's it. Is. Okay, good. Because um, that is better. Is whether to insert our Korea. Uh, I don't know if we'll... Nah, it's not worth it. 
Wait, do I? Did I get claims on Korea? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Huh? Yeah, it seems so. Ironic that you got claims on Korea, but you didn't get a claim get claims on all of Japan. What? The yeah, that's actually weird. I thought I'd get that for okay. Oh. Do I have to now change what the text says? No. <laughs> I think it's uh I, I I think I think I probably should though. Just so that people aren't like, what? Where is <laughs> where is Doug? I don't call myself Tsang anymore, even though I am the the Tsang and the Tang. It just became an empire. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's good. Yay. No. Oh, oh nice, there's Spanish explorer gonna, boats on the south coast unpause. of China. I hear that they're... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, like filthy Europeans. Filthy, filthy. <laughs> so, um, Khmer war elephants have made a visit to Lhasa and we're moving uh, further the west, uh, Afghanistan. It's a long um, walk. Yeah. Barmani's yeah. rival me. Where? Who? Oh, that's Central Ooh, India. That's really bad. That's actually really that's, powerful. Yeah. I think. Yeah. That's seventy k troops. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> well, I feel like uh, me and Chaos might be able to cooperate on this. Probably, yeah. they? I'm in a tricky spot where this war exhausted my manpower. And Tibet's manpower, like, Tibet is a glass jaw. Or rather, has a glass jaw. Like, uh, we can't, mm -hmm. we, we, even, even at this size, I'm only recovering 300 men a year. Uh, a month, I should say. Mm hmm. Well, mine, I get 550 a month. So it's not, like, massively above you. But yeah, I do have um, one of the ideas. I don't think. I just got an event that hurt our relations, so I'm gonna get back to fixing those. Harbored a hostile inventor. Tisk tisk. No, that that happened ages ago. It was another thing. That's the only thing that's there. Is it? Unless the no, there's another record. thing more recently. That one like was years ago. Um, if you'd like, when you come to Baltistan, attach your army to mine, Daft, and then we'll attack the Afghan army in the other set of mountains just next to Baltistan. <laughs> oh, they're running sure. away. I, uh, I don't know if this is... Is this blessed or cursed timeline, the Khmer war elephants in Afghanistan? The Himalayas? <laughs> I think people yeah. are like, whoa, man, Hannibal through the Alps? Amazing. So I think Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, curse. Uh, bl bl blessed shit. <laughs> blurst. One of those. Yeah, I was going to say blurst. Blurst. Emperor China and... Boom. What? 
Six, six separate in, in, in the old province. Uh, oh. hmm. Should I know something about that at the moment? I, I don't I, see any separatists over in uh, Korea and Japan, though. It's quite weird, actually. Okay, I just want Afghanistan to get their butts out of this war. Because then I can okay, really uh... go to go to Clown Town on the Chagatai. Uh, let's see, touch button, attach, uh, touch right. to the Tibetan First Army. Yes. Not, not wrong, Yang. Alright, and this will be specialized as a siege stack. I'll move a couple of my infantry back to Baltistan just for a moment so they can jump in if there's going to be a fight. Afghanistan. Peace out. No! Oh. Okay, I guess I have to take one fort. I think I'd actually tell Korea. Question is uh, four years. I'll wait a bit. Get that, get that third claim on your side of the land. Oh, good point. Uh, let's see. So if we can, if we can just win this siege. All right. Let's see. Do I have enough cannon? Mm. Do you truly have enough gun? I don't quite have as much gun as I would have otherwise preferred. Where are my gun? Oh right, there my gun. Oh, is someone else attacking Afghanistan? Oh no, I'm the only I'm the only person attacking Afghanistan now. So the piece that I want... ...would give me a nice pile of uh, aggressive expansion. But yeah, my goal here is to basically take the Turin Basin. And Kashgar. Um, they're getting closer to accepting it all the time. Soon we'll be at five years of occupation. Come on, Siege Deck. So, um, do cavalry get a significant penalty for fighting in Highlands, or are they no. just not quite as good? No? 
they don't have any specific Highland penalty. The main thing is that they're more expensive, and you if you mm. go over your cavalry ratio, they don't fight as effectively. Uh... I... hmm, well... Alright, uh, basically, all, I'm, I'm going um, to end the war once, once we get the siege. Since we're into the positive percents on the siege now. Big tick, big tick, come on. Okay, well, no tick. <laughs> Cry... This is my brain on unending tears. <laughs> All right, I just got the uh, I just got the way of the ancients that gives me bonus five percent discipline. Oh, and nice. I completed defensive ideas. Oh, good. There we go. I just got a big tick. It is the mandate is just completely collapsing. Minus. Sorry. No, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, I was looking at the uh, the Empire of China thing, and it looks like the mandate is declining by half a point every month. And it's already down to 34.74, which doesn't sound particularly high, because you want it close to 100, is that right? Like to be a, a powerful emperor. The Siege of Ro is over. Yes, I'm just grabbing uh, Banu, um, since it's the one little easily grabbed area that I'm going to make the best piece that I can. Afghanistan is nice. willing to peace out. They're not willing to give up any sort of tribute, but uh, they will accept war reparations, which is nice. Mm. So let's win the siege and see what they'll give us. All right, cool. Uh, you can bring your guys home. Uh, I'm now going to just nice. grab everything that I can from Chagatai. Uh, wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, there I thought go. my army disappeared. But... Oh, cool. Wow. Dragatai got small. Tibet got bigger. Years. We now some things, control things. the terrain base. Alright. And it's perfect timing because I just hit call for peace right then. Ah. Uh. Oh, and that gives me the step politics. The meeting of the Khans. Okay, hang on. Just let me pause for a moment. The Dalai Lama regards the throng of petty Khans as though they were his trained mastiffs. Through him, he knows dominion over Tibet will be secured. He must only choose how. The safest plan would be to secure a treaty with the Khans, seeking their assurance that they will do the utmost to defend Buddhism in Tibet. In particular, the body of the reborn Bodhisattva himself. A more radical approach is incurred to the enlightened monk. If the Dalai Lama were to invite one of the Khans to rule as his puppet, he would never fear resistance from Tibet's contentious noble families. Ruling from the shadows holds a certain appeal. He turns to the Khans to announce his will, a placid smile hiding veiled ambition. Uh, so either I get super relationship boost with all these guys, or 
I change my country to Kalka or Koshund and become a step forward. I don't want to do oh, that, wow. so I'm going to instead establish a rapport with the step cons. You Tibetans sure are, sure are contentious people. <laughs> Oh yeah, that. Let's see. Delhi and Transoxiana being in a coalition against me, I don't like quite so much. So I'll need to. Well, you know what? I'm not so worried about Delhi, honestly. I could take him in a fight. How's Transoxiana? A little annoying. Um, yeah. I'm almost almost getting printing press in one of my provinces, so hopefully that's going to help yes. everyone else. Is, is anyone else nope. going for it right now? Not yet. Uh, nope. I'm so behind in everything else to begin with, so... Like, I am busy coring everything. Yeah. Like, let's use this way. Oh yeah, the diplomatic map mode. If you go to the diplomatic map mode and click on Tang, anything that's green striped is lands that I haven't even fully cored yet. <laughs> you can see lands that are ancient. This is... One of Kyoto will take 250 to core. Oof. Yep. Is that because it's really high development, it sounds like? It's, it's, it's quote-unquote just 27. Um, ah. Yeah, it's because he's full-coring it, because he's already stated the area. Ah, right. So he's paying... Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's good, honestly. That's fine. Like, one of my places is 270 for 35 development. Ooh. But I've Ooh. already stated the area, so I'm paying the whole, mm. whole price up front. All right, Jianzu, you want to discover my dude? I ain't waiting. Let's go. See Solon and Changsheng and wait, what's Changsheng? Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like one more month from uh, completing the claim on the other Jianzu territory on in uh, central China and then they discovered the person and it was 45 so it kicked it back down to 25 I'm like well I'm not waiting that long let's go I need to declare one of them later for a 16 development province anyway Yo, uh -oh, come on, game. I don't do this. Oh, see, Japan is a great power. Oh, hang so on. Yeah, I've just frozen. We, yeah. we, we, we're, we're, we're time frozen. Yeah, yeah uh, that, that, that's me. Oh, you, did you... Did something happen? Uh, I clicked the flag to do my uh, build something, and uh, the game froze. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Oh. oh. Okay. Nice. Yeah, sure. I don't know why I decided to do that. Hashtag paradox things. And now yep. it's doing it again now that I'm clicking the purchase and ability flag that pops up. What the fuck? Are you? Yeah, um I don't know why I... this particular iteration of EU4 is screwing up so much. Hmm. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, looking at the, the Great Powers, I'm surprised Tibet is not on there. That's because Tibet's Tibet. land sucks. I'm actually, at, uh, I, I'm quite close to, to knocking England off. Oh, that's cool. I'd like us all to be on there. I see Japan's there now. Japan's ahead of me. Uh, oh, we're kind of even, actually. 
Is the game frozen or still running for you guys? Frozen. Uh, I've done some okay. stuff that hasn't March. registered yet. Fourth of March. Oh, March. There we go. Just, oh, it's moving. Just, moving. Yeah, we're moving again. Don't know why it's doing that. Don't like it. Two more loans. Question is, do I want to start chipping at uh, Mongol land? Should the Mongolians be absorbed into China? I have no strong feeling about this. Jianzu, I swear on everything that is holy. Could you not? <laughs> <laughs> they sailed their boats all the way down to the south just to bother my exploration boats. Mm. Wait, who's Korea fighting? Chung, Chung Ning. Oh! Oh, they declared war on the Yu to try and take land. Really? Oh, I think it's Chung Ning, so it's, uh... Uh... Oh. Tai Taiwan. Oh, they declared war on Taiwan. Yeah, sure. I should start making claims on Taiwan. I just don't have a navy. It's just Taiwan. I mean, that I will, will never be important in anything ever. Yeah, I know. I see what you're trying to do, game, and I'm going to absolutely demand that you do not. Do not the fuck you dare. Bamanis going to attack Juan Per. Bamanis is going wild. Yeah, Bamanis is going to be uh, spooky. Especially since they're Shia, they're going to be very rough. Shia gets uh, more morale. And not like a little bit, like a lot of bit. Definitely gonna have to go for fleet and being, so it's getting naval maintenance down. Why is that the Vajraya 
that can't be the Valtteri out of Buddhist. That's... Oh, no, that... That's the, that's the 10 grade converter, yeah. And, like, um, I'm pretty sure the 10 grade converter doesn't look like a uh, Native American shaman. Just Paradox wanting you to buy more packs. Buy more. Oh, hopefully, honestly. Consume. Consume. <laughs> I still don't have any of the graphic packs, honestly. I have basically a lot. I don't know. A lot of them. I don't use graphic packs, so I'm pretty default. All right. I didn't claim all of the north or all of the south, but I have claimed. Just waiting, Khmer. Please get printing press. <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, just a bit more. Uh... Oh, that's actually very close. Yeah. Oh, oh currently stored at ninety-seven point four eight percent. Okay. I'm so not next development. Too much about racing for it. Yeah, I should pick the province I'm going to develop it in. Um, there was one specifically that I thought about. I dislike how much Delhi is fabricating claims on my stuff. Lu Yang, maybe? I guess that was coal? That was... next to my others? Right, I've got a decent sized coalition against me right now, so I'm going to just chill out for mm. the time being. It's Delhi, Uzbeks, and Transoxiana. And I'm like, eh, I don't want. Yeah.
the question. Um, so I have controlled both parts of a straight, right? Yes. That means I can cross it even if there's ships. Mm, I don't think yes. so. Uh, it doesn't? Okay. Yeah, I think it changes yeah, it, to that. It was... If you control both sides of the straight, you can walk through. But uh, if obviously if one of the sides is sieged, you no longer technically control both sides. Yes. All right, I have printing press in a province. Ooh. Excellent. It'll take forever to come up here, but I, I'm not fine with that. Yeah, so, there's no way I can afford to embrace it right now. It's going to cost like 1,300. Yeah, so sometimes you just have to be willing to accept to pay 50% extra for uh, tax for a bit. Never. I have so spread in spite of, in spite plus 100. Of in spite of blobbing quite a bit, I think I like the shape of Tibet right now. It's nice and oval. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Wait, I have a gold mine? When did I get a gold mine? Ah, cool. It's in, uh, in Kukwa. Well, I lost a lot of karma for that last war, but on the plus side, my ruler is uh, 65. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. So, yeah, karma is reset with each ruler, which is, is well, nice. Makes sense, right? And I have this thing where um, I don't know how I triggered it as maybe one of my government reforms, but I now get a. Um, basically, elected monarch every few years, and I get to choose out of two oh, different choices. Oh, like, uh, you've a... got the estates general. That must be the one. Yeah, so it's like a statist or a um, yeah, monarchist. Yeah. It's basically you have the Dutch Republic. Oh, okay. You get to have a House of Orange, or you get to have a statist. Well, I see. That all makes sense now. But yeah, it's pretty cool because you get two choices, and then you can obviously choose the one that has the best stats or uh, the best mix of stats for your particular need. Yeah, that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy about that. It seems like they only stay in power for about 10 years or so, and then they get uh, replaced. Now that's a general. Five, four, three, one. Mm. Skip the two, but you know, that's fine. Kingdom of Bod. What's Korea's force limit? Uh, armies. Um, Thirty-nine. Okay, I'm good. I should just military up here and just attack them. I like with Wu, who is getting beat up. Oh, you're, fight you're fighting them. <laughs> no, wait, you aren't. Uh, what what happened? I uh, declared war on the Shun since my claims on them were about to expire and they were allied to Wu. If you wait a little bit, I can make Wu Wu an ally Korea and make it easier. That could work. I mean, aren't you just annexing Wu? 
Uh, no, because if I did that, it would cost me over a hundred diplomatic power. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. So I'm just taking the money. I would say don't forget to finish off Haki Ashikaga, but you still have 10 years on that. <laughs> yeah, I should be good. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to uh, thank you some for reminding me to, t to take push the, push the claim. Yeah, I don't think you have to uh, cancel alliance. I don't think you lose. How, how, what's the force limit even like? Uh... I mean, oh, I'm okay, going to 11. not take any land from you. So if they yeah. join the war, they'll be in the war, and it'll it'll just be annoying for you. So I'm... plus, I want to declare war on Wu later. So I need to yeah. pull them away from career for that. That makes sense. Uh, feels good. After I have a big war, I can just chill out and be nice and peaceful now. Oh, I see Shun is finally getting shunned by the Tang, as they should be. Boo. Let's reestablish that alliance now that I've fixed our relationship up a little bit. So, my big problem is that uh, Spain colonized all of the islands that I wanted to island hop over there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to start showing I... up in Southeast Asia. Yeah, and now I can't actually reach uh, Southern Africa. So I'm going to have to take, like, one of the islands out here, like Christmas Island or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Or Nias or Mentawai, the ones off of the coast of Sumatra. Well, since my troops are a little bit busy, I want to try and take one of the islands that don't have anyone on it. Because <laughs> I always go native repression to uh, help things go faster. Yeah, I should have done too. Even if I technically don't get as much from it in the long run, it uh, helps to get it bigger when you're I'd like to deny the racing. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is best it's difficult. I want a lot of money or a little bit of admin. Uh. 
Why do I need to take over a year for a capital fort? There we go, geez. And I start 12, so now I will start to get this wall ready. Old Kyoto! Excellent. Everyone's leaving the military coalition against me. So how long is my truce with Ava last? Oh, not much longer. Okay, uh, Daft, in one year's mm -hmm. time, I'm going to go to war with Ava. I'm going to full annex them. And okay. uh, then I'm going to take all of their tributaries. So it'll just be a fairly short Well, you can't move their stuff. Thank you for all your canceling the war. That's actually quite useful. I think I'll just go for Japan. Yeah, let's go for this. Go. Cool. And that is the Shodan Bullied. Congratulations. I say bullied because I still need to take more of that more from them for sure. Uh which looks like I'll have to take from Oirat instead. Well, hey, uh, if you yeah. both want to fight Oirat, I've got some claims on them, so uh, well, I'd, I'd be happy to fight Oirat with you at some point. I just say that because I just got the warning that they're about to declare war on uh, Shun. Oh, well, that's not terribly surprising, but they would be taking some Sibei land, and that's Chinese culture group. So now it's just to wait. Uh, are they? I think the Timurids might actually be fully dead now. Yeah, the Timurids are fully dead. Rip the Timurids along with the Timurids. So I've got Afghanistan over on my border there, but honestly, I want to be their friend. So I'm going to try and improve our relationship. Hey, I, I know we uh, very, very, very aggressively fought over this. Uh, well, no, this the thing is, they there. insisted on fighting to defend Chagatai. So we fought several battles, but I never did anything more than occupy one border fort, and they never did anything other than occupy the two territories before they hit my first border fort at Rutog.
I like how somehow Korea ended up controlling tiny bits of Japan. So annoying. <laughs> Just like, because I rebuilt against them, they were like, hey, I can take this you... land. And I was like, nope, you can't. How's that devastation looking? Um, starting to lower, believe it or not. I need to build a fort over here, 100%. And no ways to lower otherwise. Uh, oh. Yeah, Cass, I was, was going to say, feel free to call me in when you're uh, when you're going to war. All right. I am planning to attack Machapit, but Magic I'm Magic. waiting waiting a couple more years because I'm building a fort in uh, southern. Machapit okay. are starting colonial expansion on Sulawesi. Ah, I think. They conquered those. I don't think they did. Uh, yeah, but there's a native nation there. Is that? Uh, mm -hmm. I could, could have sworn. Rhea, please land in my country so I can fight you. So those stupid boats. There we go. Okay. No, wait, it's still boats, right? Still boats. Got them. No transports, right? Uh, 11 transports. Still no attacks, so. Hey Taft, could you spot me mm -hmm. 50 gold, please? I've got a loan that I'm almost able to pay off um, that comes in on um, the 23rd of October. Yeah. Uh, I'll pay it right back mm -hmm. afterwards. I basically just need a two month advance loan. Uh, there you go. Gave you a little bit extra. So No worries. Oh, well, is Ava already aboard someone? Arissa. Alright, war with Arissa fighting Jarkhand. Ava, Ava, Ava. That wasn't a smart move. Oh, hello there. Since when did I reach first rank great power, which means I have more development than the Ottomans? <laughs> That's, that's been for a while, I think. I didn't realize that I reached that threshold. Oh. I don't feel like it. I'm still, you know, in pain here and there. I guess, you know, I almost have a 100k force limit, and I'd probably have like 120 if every my, all my land was actually cored, but yeah. I like how Karaman is still alive. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> this is patronizing, but I'm fully willing to be patronized by the <laughs> Emperor of China, so. What, what, did, what did he do? Uh... He's influencing nation on me. <laughs> yeah, uh, since 
he's not also a great power. I could use influence nation. It's just giving him plus one military power. I know. Why can't I be another great power? No, I don't want to you be. You are. Oh wait. Uh, you, you have, like, yeah, I'm like number eight. Uh, yeah. The funny thing. Yeah, here, exactly. So the bottom, the bottom three great powers are 473, 472, 465. I'm saving at 433 right now. But mm. if I'm to say the thing I'm proud of is when you look at the development map, nothing is bigger than Lhasa. Even though Nam Pen is at a magnificent 52, I'm at 57, and I'm super proud of that. I will, in fact, get into pissing contests about this. I'm 53 <laughs> at the moment. Uh, Naval supplies, is, is that worth more than grain? It is, right? Uh, eventually, yes. I'll take that. Oh my god, Korea, do something. Attack me. Fight no, me! Just gonna Fight me! Sit there for ages. Fight me! Pilots. Admiral and eight heavy ships. <sighs> yeah, just like hang out with those ships and like, eh. Just gonna try. Just Korea gonna hit those has guys. full annexed Taiwan. <laughs> Alright, the military coalition oh. against me is now oh. Delhi, Uzbek, and Sipa. Which is kind of funny. Yikes. Well, now actually, Tang has a reason to just murder them, so that's good. Yeah. Do we even, like, do I have a navy at all? No. <laughs> yes, I have 20 here. transport boats and 3 explorer boats. That's a blessing. I, uh... I'm probably going to be spending a lot of my money economic-wise, but I'm definitely going to have to start building a heavy fleet to kick the teeth in directly of the Spanish if they try and actually colonize anything over here. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll help you. We, we will defend. Uh, I'm sending 75 gold back to you, Khmer. Is that good? Um... I'm sorry, do you want to keep it? I've, I've got 500 golds. Okay, and, I, I, uh, I will yeah. keep it on, a, on, on account of uh, I am very, very poor and uh, subsist off of yak, milk, and meditation. <laughs> oh my god, Korea, do something. Did you know that the AI is actually really bad with water? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we fair, they should just like drag this out as much as possible because they can't fight me on land. Bamana's first one per round two. Problem is, they were sieging Taiwan for so long that the devastation there is killing their mandate. <laughs> oh, and they have at least ten loans, too, which doesn't help at all. How the hell did they get 10 loans against Taiwan? Your dedication and hard work, soldier. Like, naval AI? I actually don't understand what... Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. I, I love when a military coalition falls apart and you then you end up looking at whoever's the last person holding at holding on to the string and it's like, hey there Uzbek. How's it going? <laughs> so how you feeling? You know what? Let's just force printing press. Screw it. I am forcing printing press right now, but I don't know uh, if that'd be able to spread to you, because it'd have to spread to Korea first. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and I'm Khmer has, like, forever, so it's like, I, I'm i just doing it in Kyoto. It's, it's a pretty big place. I just I'm just sitting around and waiting. I'm, I'm not doing any effort to bring it to me any faster. Because you know you'll get it from me in death. Well, I mean, even if I don't get it from you, eventually it will make its way here. It's kind of necessary for it to... Shang Shang, it is time for you to die.
Oh. Well, screw you too, Oi Rat. They just vassalized the Shun. Oh, so my my spy network got cancelled because you can't oh, build right. a spy network. And I, you know what I was doing? I was uh, I was improving their relationship with me so that they would uh they would accept I mean I might support their independence. I I, I was hoping to get a tributary from them. You mean the land that I'm going that I was fabricating claims on? Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah, okay. If you're gonna do that, then I guess I didn't lose out on anything there. Except, I guess we get to fight Oirat. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Just let me fabricate a couple more claims. Excuse me a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fabricate a claim on Arunki. Fabricate a claim on Beshi. Um. Fabricate a claim. Should on I be uh, Should I be sending an army into Tibet right now? No, uh, no. I, okay. I mean, do you have an alliance with Tang? No. Well, actually, this brings up a good question of... I guess Tang and I could declare two separate wars. Hmm. Which is probably the way to go about it. Um, by the way, I think we have, like, six minutes left until uh, your D&D session. Well, I, I'm, I'm just keeping an eye out until, like, things actually start rolling. Okay, okay. Well, oh, looks I, like, uh, uh... Looks like Ava's at peace, which means I can go to war with Ava. If, um... If you don't need my full attention on that, I might declare war on Majapa Heat. Go right ahead. With, uh, Malakia and Brunei, last time I checked, we're gonna join in. Uh, yep. All right, uh, I am declaring war on Ava now. Uh, would you like me to call you in? Come here, or nah? Um, sure, I can send, I've, I've got like uh, 18k army on the main line still, and 25k has been sent to uh, Indonesia. Um, who will be fighting? Oh, those guys. That's, yeah, those guys. Just a, that's that's easy, sure. It's just a scattering of red provinces on the diplomatic Too map. Much. Four, four red provinces. Uh, sure, I'll send my army in to uh, Mao Kamai. It's nice to be able to fully fund your military and still make a profit at the end of the month. Indeed. <laughs> they just keep stacking the navy. <laughs> Come on. Land! Yeah.
uh, question for you guys. Um, yes. I'm taking attrition in the province, even though the supply limit is greater than... I think you always take uh, attrition, some amount of attrition in uh, uh, provinces. Yeah. Wait, I don't entirely Wait. understand how it works. Uh, I think I got it. I was, um, yeah, do, uh, plus two from tropical, plus one from siege, so it's 3%. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you okay, Angst? Yes, I just need to... There we go. Ah, oh, it's just me. Okay. There we go. Yay! Oh, wait. Um, well, Mong Pai just showed up with their army. I'm like, okay. Oh, I see uh, Japan's been unified at last. Oh, Almost. no, because Satsuma is still... We have Asterix oh, hanging out in the end, so... Oh, like... I didn't realize. There's still the Ashikaga <laughs> Shogun. <laughs> what, what the heck? It's like it's like one warlord in the southern tip of Japan is just refusing to oh. submit. Yeah, they got the, the magic potion from... Uh... They got magic It's Asterix and Obelix <laughs> just hanging out there. Wow. Well, and and, uh, oh, Uberisu. interesting. Delhi's at war with people. Who are they fighting right now? God, Delhi is in such a friggin' humongous hug box. It's disgusting. So Delhi's allies, Uzbek, Bengal, Bahmanis, and Malwa. I mean, Maul has at least already been mauled, so... Could you transfer uh, Mong Pai to my control, Daft? Indeed, certainly. Uh, I was like, hang on, why can I go. only make it a Cambodian pass? There we go. Thank you. Hey, the uh, Cocos Island produces tea. Tea and cocoa. I've declared war on Majapahit. Their navy is hiding in port. Their army is nowhere to be seen. Oh, whoa, well, they've got... Uh, most of our army is still in, uh, I think, Sulawesi. And I, I guess it's stuck there now. Oh, well. I'm going to move my navy into Java Sea just to make sure it stays there. And, uh, oh, victory that, that, that was just, that was just part of it. Uh, that was me piecing out one of them, and then I'm gonna, because I don't border, border Mong Pai anywhere, I'm just going to vassalize them. And I can force religion too. And how much money can I squeeze out of them? Nice. And Ava. Ava, it's been very good, but now you are a Tibetan vassal. This <laughs> is your new state of being. Oh man, I'm making uh, s seven ducats a month with full military uh, maintenance. I guess it's from blockades and uh, 
looting enemy cities and things? More than likely. We had a Kutai is beating up Brunei. I was not expecting that. I might have to send my troops back over there. Uh, I think because Maj Pahi is helping them, and that's where the Maj Pahi army is. I, oh, I can't actually see it. Well, I could see that Brunei is also at war with Maj Pahi. That's probably why. Okay. I think I can vassalize Nick Nivk. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's try and push for that. I have uh, also begun the fort building in order to fix the. Uh, Devastation issues in many of these places. There we go. Give me. Yang, it's been a long time, and now the time has come for you to be absorbed into the beautiful hole. When I say the beautiful hole, I mean the hole as in the entirety, not the beautiful hole as in a uh, thing that you get thrown down into. Next is you, I guess. 68. Gross. Accepting my people as if you're there your own. I can't stand this uh this racial harmony thing. It's uh it's political correctness gone mad, I tell you. <laughs> Well my uh, war against the Majabahi is going well. 
Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Although, I think I'm going to have to help Brunei because they are uh, in a lot Brunei of trouble. Brunei just seems to be having a struggle, like, just a general struggle. It's kind of funny. <laughs> in the sense that, like, normally I, I, I stereotypically think of them as, like, a reasonably strong, competent nation in most of my yeah. movies. But right now they're just like, help, help, help. Oh. I know, but like, they, they seem to lose, their army seem to get Help. beaten up by uh, Kutai. Help! Um, I can't actually see any Majapahar Heat soldiers over there, I think it's just occupation that's been transferred for some reason. But yeah. Alright, I've begun the annexation of Mong Yai. I wait. Is is you over a hundred percent? Yeah, it is. Hundred and six. God dang it. Uh, I am technically four wars away from uh, uniting China. Nice. nice. Well, Tang is looking pretty chunky. Okay, on Tang. Yeah, you is about to just be kicked to uh, the island. Why would you do Woo. that to me? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, what else is back. he going to do? <laughs> and then Chang, I'm going to eat the section of Chang Shang that are not in uh, Vietnam. And then there's just, you know, fighting the Oirat and uh, taking the mandate from Korea. Oh, it's Tuesday Spit. Thank you. <laughs> that was, uh, ah. okay. It's, uh, it's the, the, the Splendor thing. It's like, oh, yeah. I like how Vigianagar is struggling so far back. Yeah, you figure some uh, strange meeple was controlling it. <laughs> My powers have doubled since uh, since that campaign. Only a master of evil. Wait, sorry, that's the wrong line. <laughs> My powers have doubled since we last met. Double of zero is still zero. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> My breakdancing powers Ooh. are more powerful than you could possibly overpower. Power. Power Master 3000. Power Master 9000. I'm a master of power. Power Master, if you will. All right, I got a fort in the north to uh, take down the devastation there. Building a fort in the south to help with that. Yeah, I still have devastation in some places, of course, but it's besides a couple places that, you know, have been changing hands this entire game. Um, everything's... Starting to relax. There's a, the core of my land is actually green. Look at it; it's great. Wow, that's cheating. Let's 
see. The Spanish have completed their islands, but I don't see them anywhere else, so I think I'm led to believe that they're done. Fortunately, because those islands had no one on them, they're Castilian Catholic, which is not going to stand. I'm losing Ripal status. What the heck? Tibet has jumped up there. So uh, England and we're Russia. Gonna up jump Tibet. Oh, no. You need to conquer some more wow. stuff, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, once you finish your war against Mahajakapa. Mahajakapa? Yeah, you're you're probably going to jump. Like we're we're both sitting right at the very edge of it. And a couple more months, and I will at least uh, have the printing press in the first territory. Just a reminder, um, global trade spreads in uh, your There's centers some... of trade. And oh, cool. Have... <laughs> <laughs> in your centers of trade, even if they're the beginning. Oh, you don't have <laughs> to bit. Oh, God. Oh, he's in one locked country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working my way towards the coast. You can see I'm getting closer. Eventually, I'm yeah. going to have one at like the mouths of the Irrawaddy or something. It just it'll spread in anywhere that has a center of trade. So I you guess have I, I have Kathmandu, which is an emporium, and I think Lhasa counts as a. No, I don't think it does. Uh, actually, ironically, Lhasa, despite the fact that's the start, because the start doesn't have a trade. Yeah, <laughs> Mo. Uh, I okay. I own Yarkand, Kashgar, and Hotan, which are all inland centers of trade. Yeah, make sure to upgrade them at least to level two with your money. Yeah, because uh, that goes for Japan and Khmer as well. Upgrade your uh, centers of trade when you have spare money. I know no. spare money is laughable to uh, Japan, but. Or maybe cryable, whichever fits. It's oh, so it's a trade stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that here. I have to say, it's pretty good. And there we go. It is beginning to spread. Still a bit far away here. I'm only at 70%. Bahmanis insulted me. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to deal with the Bahmanis sooner rather than later. Problem is, they're allied with friggin' Ibrun and in Well, they're allied with Bengal and Delhi. I could potentially fight Bengal. But that's asking for fighting a big war. Mm. One towards which I am not looking. Um, do you mind if we pause for a moment? I just want to oh, see yeah. what kind of peace deal I can get. Yeah, so uh, actually, I'll wait till this battle finishes because I'm about yeah, to win. Yeah. Battle Plus, they, they have a big reduction to peace acceptance when you're in a battle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sue for peace. Demand tribute. Wait, uh... I'm going to give, uh, Kutai to Brunei. Actually, uh, so, Hobo, if I 
military access you and just stack right next to Korea, I can invade that way, right? Uh, no, because when you declare the war, it'll black yeah. flag anyone Damn you're it. already in. To, you know, All right. That's that idea. That's too bad. Is there a reason you wanted to fight Korea again, other than just actually taking Korean land? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh... know what to do about that navy. I'm working on a navy of my own now. Well, okay, uh, after I'm vassalized, um, I can uh, military access Utega and then march through there, I think. But it, then I will leave Japan open, so I'm not quite sure. Um, I can't really get back, so... Yeah. That's 16,000 troops at the moment. What's there? Well, you gotta remember the Korean troops are also going to be hot garbage due to their lack of mandate. Hmm. You love to see it. You love to see it. Right, uh, so I'm going to give Kutai to Brunei, and I'm going to claim three provinces on uh, Sumatra, I think is the island. Or... Oh, did, did you the, the, big, the big close one is Sumatra. The long, oh, big... sorry, the the, uh, the one that Majapahit is on. Java. Is that Java? Is that Java? Okay. Yeah, that one's Java. Okay, so I'm getting three provinces in Java, and... The province of the Kutai itself is going to Borneo, and the Kutai will still exist, but there'll be one province uh, What the heck is Kutai's other province? Oh, it's, Samarinda, um, Samarinda. I, it's, I yeah, it's actually, it's, yeah, it's actually two provinces, so, okay, yeah, that's about the best I can get. Sounds good. Send demand, good. unpause, nice. I'm quite happy with that. It's always difficult fighting uh, overseas, so to speak. Yes. So, I had two sets of Pretender Rebels pop up, and I did not realize they were popping oh up in the same province. Oh, Oof. God. So Yikes. I had, like, 35,000 pop up on... Oh, no, I'm losing my power status again. <laughs> like, like, Hobo is just, like, hanging out up there, while, like, the rest of us just, like, screaming I have it. Oh, no, I don't have it. Well, on the plus side, um, <laughs> Hobo, you'll be able to influence my nation again once I lose it. <laughs> It's just like perfect BM. <laughs> uh, right, I'm honestly, it. I don't mind being BM'd if it's literally like people tipping me in Dota. I'm like, whatever, you're it's, giving it's, me tips. It's funny. Yeah. It's fun. There you go. Oh, you bastard. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize my claim was on one of the most developed provinces in you was timing out. Oh. Uh, do you need me to fight those pretender rebels down in the south? No, no, I'm coming. Just I had an army in the far north and then an army going to deal with a rebel stack. I can... Go deal. As the Vatriana zealots that you're chasing just run through. Beep. How did those happen, by the way? Uh, uh, that oh, s simple enough. They're they're people who are upset that I stole land from the monasteries. Just a reminder: when you do that and they siege a province, they get a little bit of that land back. Yeah, but they lose more than they gain, I think. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, I noticed that I'm not really getting above 70%. Alright, so... Cape of Good Hope is solidly in the Spanish hands. Oh, the Cape it. of Good Cope. <laughs> uh, Spain has a force limit of 86. 
Um, That's not that bad. Their naval force limit is 176. Yeah, but they've got a lot of places um, they need to be. Just yeah, if I, lay, if I make most of my force limit, um, like, heavy ships, even if I have a smaller one, should be fine. A fun fact about war, I just thought I invested quite heavily in my navy. I built eight heavy ships and a uh, a capital ship as well. Or what do you call it? Flagship. Yep. Um, but it was like a, a deterrence. It never actually saw combat. So you might say that was a waste of money, but I think it was actually... I think it actually worked out because it seemed to keep the AI fleet in port. Uh, oh, Bengal just insulted me. The Indians are sending a lot of insults my way. I don't know why. What have I done to them? You did not send Bob. I didn't send Bob. <laughs> Who's I Bob? don't know. I don't know if your uh, internet corrupted enough to know the. Uh... Probably not. The idea of Indians messaging young women of sending pictures, but they don't know how to speak, how to type English. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, kind of vaguely aware of. How's that devastation looking bad in the places that it's still built up? How much do I need for this claim? Oh my god, 45. Oh, it's gonna suck. The stack of 8,000 is going to finish the siege. Of uh, 8,000 rebels going to finish the siege just because it's so far to the north. The walking pace is too dang slow. R possible rivals. Tibet, Khmer, and Spain. <laughs> I feel like Spain is the pain. I love the sound of my uh, tributaries giving me stuff. Ching, ching. And speaking of my tributaries giving me stuff, hello, Mon Yang. Welcome to Father. 
Um, Hobo Chang Sheng has offered me an alliance. I'm thinking I should probably decline because I, uh, because they own land that I want and they own Vietnam. Yeah. yeah you should yeah. probably just start fabricating claims on the Vietnamese Well, land. it's it's complicated because uh, Chang Seng is my only route into Tibet to send troops north if needed. So I'm keeping good relations with them at the moment. Because ah. Lan Na hates me and... Uh, yeah, I feel like you and I should finish Prem. off Lan Na soon. That would actually work out. If we had a land border... Then, then that makes I wouldn't... a lot of stuff very easy. Plus, remember how we're going to split it up? Uh, I get the Burma half, you get the Siam half. That basically yes. splits it up quite evenly. Yeah, it's like half half and half on one and now. I, I vassalized Wong Pai, which is just on my side. So I'll eventually incorporate them. Mm, pie. Mm, nice. Wong Pai. Ooh, Wong Pai. <laughs> Next should be colonialism for Kyoto. Not colonialism yet. Well, technically, it is the way. And printing press. Yes. Printing press present! Ah, yes, the printing present. Yes. <laughs> Uh, call to arms marker is attacking Ayoto. Are they? Um, well, I why guess. don't you, yeah, accept that and move in and grab as much as you can and then take it. I feel like it, it, it had to happen sooner or later. Yeah. Silly oil rats. Hmm. So it seems my enemies already had armies in my territory as of the war, which is axe, if you ask me. Oh, they got one of my castles, damn it. But apparently, winning is war. Even with me dipping out. Well, 
Worst case scenario, they grab a bunch of land and then you fight Malaka later. Yeah. Which is the worst case scenario that you can really deal with here. So it's not that bad a situation. Malaka is not an indispensable ally, and eventually you intend on expanding your power down that way, right? Um. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, Although, I, I um, suppose I shouldn't force you into into acts of evil or whatever. But Malaka has been quite useful ally so far. So. Okay. Um, well, then maybe it will be more useful if they're controlling yet more land. Hmm. So, you know. Alternatively, they own uh, some of the best parts of the Malacca node, which is where your end node's going to end up being. Yeah. present in two territories is still enough. Wait another three years. Fine, I'll eat the diplomatic cost, you piece of... No, I won't. I just won't take it. Ugh. Yeah, piece of... Hot garbage. They discovered me when I was nearly done a second time. Japan has moved from Japan to uh, Kamchatka, so that's great. What the? Oh! Yeah, it's great name placement. <laughs> I can't even see the name on the map. Oh, that's yeah, because it's up in Kamchatka. Oh, oh wait, yeah, what the heck? <laughs> what? You are right. What, what? <laughs> what the? That's not Japan. Yeah, well, it kind of is. <laughs> I mean... It is, it is now. Yeah. Oh. Alright, you. Here's the deal. I kill you. Two years I'll be able to finish off my third idea set. Yay.
Right, tie to beat up the balls. Completed the first one. So the second. Cries and not even having completed the first one. Oof. And, but and I don't complete at the at the SNS game apparently. But, uh... I'm debating if I should ally Afghanistan or if I should just be friendly with them. Oh, and Afghanistan will accept tributary in a moment. They just have I to stop being at war with Sindh. That, that, that's another thing I need to do. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. As sinned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's also a. Uh, there's also a uh, great one with the, I think it's the British officer who captured Sind, sent back sent back a Latin message with the pun "I have sinned" as his explanation. <laughs> uh, let me find exactly wow. what that was again. It's Charles uh, Charles James Napier. Uh, Pekavi, which is, uh, I have sinned. So I had a one, a, a single Latin word that allowed him to make an excellent joke and also send a coded message. Ew, why would I improve relations with those Tibetans? We're wonderful. Decisive victory. I don't think I got anything like that. Where the heck is uh, my money going? Oh, wait, well, Pagarang. Oh, I, I gained a tributary, eh, apparently. Yeah, if you conquer someone. Um, if, you, if you conquer someone and they have tributaries, you gain their tributaries. Like how Ayutai is becoming an increasingly smaller strip. I shouldn't have done that. It's gonna make me pay extra money. I should have waited. I was thinking about it, and then I entirely forgot about it. I'm smart.
So, uh, what's something for D and D session? Oh, um, it's it's a it started, but I'm not actively uh, involved in the stuff going on right now. So I'm just reading it on the side. Oh, okay. Right now we are in the uh, in the city of Saphis, having just finished off an arc with the Temple of the Enchanters, which are this whole wizardly nation, basically. And uh, my character is kind of not super confident talking tactical stuff. And as such, is just kind of uh, wallflowering in the corner for a little bit. Hmm. While other people sure. are like, yes, you know, distribute arms and so on and prepare this force, which is going to be making its way. And what of the titans of Kalos and Balan? What about them indeed? The character not being good at tactical stuff is pretty ironic. How so? Because <laughs> I'm doing this right now. Kind of, kind of like your, your go-to. Well, my current character is someone who is a huge fish out of water at the moment. What did Korea get? Oh my god, Korea, what are you doing? What what kind of war is that? Just a moment. Um, Jin Sao tribute and just completely blew up in the face. Okay. Wow, the Council of Trent went really in the favor of Catholics. Uh, cause Spain has a negative 80 opinion of heretics. <laughs> Seven hundred gold to embrace. Pricey.
Here we go. Here's the fight against the rebels. I swear, Tibet is so frigging poor, it's amazing. Ah, good. I was wondering when this rebellion would happen. I was having my troops raised for a while to deal with it. Hang on, are you fighting the Oirat right now? Me? No. Oh wait, no, that's Korea fighting the Shun. Yeah, look at look at what Korea's fighting at the moment. Yes. It's not smart, but um, no, okay. suit, suit themselves, whatever they want. So you know. There we go, Diplomatic Corps. Well, Tang has at least made it to Inham Bain on uh, the east coast of Africa. Yay! Oh, wow. You humble man. Oh, Afghanistan's never sending me any tribute. I just need to improve the relationship with my guests. It is time, woo! At last. Woo? Who? Woohoo! Wah, 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 woo! God damn it, I have a mission to conquer Taiwan. That's annoying. Oh, well. 
Didn't it offer other ones too? Ah, it doesn't matter that much. Let's see, Imperial Mandate. No, I don't want that anyways. Uh... Oh, you mean like actual mission tree. I yeah. The tail had. So, oh, uh, Chaos, would you yes. like to go towards Lan-Na and Pegu at some yes, point? Yes, I would be very happy to um, go to war with Lan-Na and Pegu. I'll be happy to uh, join in. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any uh, claims on Pegu yet, but that can be... Okay, well, I'm I'm uh, building a spy network in Lan-Na right now. Cool. Yeah, that's the place to do it. Um... See if I can make it back. Need to get my land uh, spy network just a little bit bigger there, but let's see. I've got a Just gonna wait for one more claim, which will be Mong Nai. Yeah, since I'll only want the three northernmost provinces of theirs, and you can have the rest. No, three star general die. Damn it. Well, since you took the uh, land from Ashikaga, the J in Japan has at least reached Ainu. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, not much, but it's honest work, or whatever I say. It's um, honest work. <laughs> there we go. All right, uh, Daft, start raising your troops. I am almost ready to go to war with Lan Na. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm right. just fabricating one more claim. Which will mean I'll have claims on absolutely everything I'm going to war them for. Um. Okay, yeah, it should be fine. I uh, I don't have much money. Um, it's because I've been building stuff and I'm rooting out corruption. I just promoted some cultures, which seems to increase your corruption. Uh, so that's kind of expensive. Actually, yeah, money minus. 3.79 now per month, okay. so it should be alright for a while. If you mouse over your corruption, you can see what actually increases it. Maybe you had a random event that gave you a plus two or something. 
Because um, there. nothing's increasing it, and it's decreasing because I'm investing in it. But I think uh, when I promote a culture, it gives me corruption. I don't know if it's yeah. something unique to my nation or religion. I don't know. Eh, I don't know if it's for the religion, but it's not something that's normal. No, my two start general. Good to go daft? Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm not quite at max morale, but I think I'm good enough. Sure. Okay. Their, their army is drilling, so I could probably ambush them. Uh, yeah, I could charge straight in on their army. His morale is low, so. Perfect. Yeah, good All to right. go. I am when you are. I'm going to declare war and I'm going to call in Khmer. Right, uh, and the war goal is to take. To take, uh. I'll see which one has the higher development. Seven versus seven. Uh, it'll be to take Chang Tung. Alright. Confirm. Accept. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a battle. Uh, oh no! What the? Uh, what the fuck is over? Oh, that is. It, it, it had the um the sword symbol on the problem, so I don't know what happened there. Anyway. Uh, oh, it looks like you got him. Yeah, that was a little bit funny. I'll try to get uh, Pegu's army. Oh, looks like I'm going to catch some of them. Right, I'm exploring the Northeast Pacific. Oh, awesome. Sure, try and get to... Uh... At this point, I don't know if you'll be able to get Mexico without fighting the colonizers, but at least trying to get California. Yeah, it's basically... God dang it, Tibet! Plan. Stop what making so. How does Stop that having so much aggressive expansion. I, I don't have, have aggressive expansion. I haven't conquered anything for years. I have That's... 73 aggressive expansion with you. Well, uh, <laughs> get back to improving our relation. No, wait, that, that's the Tibetan opinion of Tang. So. Yes. Yeah. Too much cookies, not enough Tang. Alright, I'm going to detach all my artillery and send it to Chiang Mai, and then I'll push on into Pegu. And I will also transfer things to you. Oh, so, um, yeah, we're, we're going to split side. it along... Yeah, we're going to split it along the trade set lines. Awesome. start grabbing Pegu. Uh, Pegu is going to be entirely in the Bengal node, so I'll get uh, Pegu if we end up taking... I, I might vassalize Pegu. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the solid move to go for. Siege down quick. Oh wait, it wasn't a uh, wasn't an actual fort. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll siege down. Um, well, I'll send some guys onto Pegu proper. Uh, me too. Yeah, I'm sending my army there. Oh, okay. Well, my um, 
My fleet's going to be arriving as soon as uh, its oh, morale is up. I forgot to unmorph all my uh, heavy ships. So. Gee. All right, cool. We're getting close to winning this siege, and then I'll be able to. Actually, why don't um, let's see how much are your cannons contributing there? So we've got ten cannons, and we need exactly ten cannons, so that's perfect. Yeah, leave all your cannons in Chiang Mai for the moment. Okie dokie. I'm starting on Pegu, but I don't have any cannons now, and it's a coastal province. So, oh, cool. All right, I'll send all my cannons to Pegu. And my fleet is here now. Great. So, and I will also send good. my cannons into Pegu. And then once you have the area uh, Pegu, um, transfer it to me so that I can vassalize them, which I think we'll be able to do this war. Spain is on the east coast. Mm. I know this because I got a warning from one of the islands that I don't know how the islands know that uh, Spain is declaring war on the creek. Even though I don't know what a creek is. Uh, it's a small river. Uh. <laughs> Bad. Awful. All right, you northern frontier, it's time for you to get clipped. Hopefully soon. All right, so once we have complete war domination over Pegu, uh, we, they will be able to accept vassalization. Oh. It was just, it's close, it's 96% war score. Do you have any more uh, artillery you could send over to Pegu? I saw uh, literally all of my guns. Oh wait, hang on, I've got okay. three more guns. Three more of my guys walk down, I'm sending them down to Pegu right now. Nice. God damn it, Eliza, stop dying. Uh, no. Question. Why does the salt crisis lower the price of iron? I actually don't know. <laughs> the salt crisis event lowers your production efficiency there by 10%. There we go. Let's teach the rest of this. The salt is critically important. So in oh, I'm, I'm fighting the navy right now, so... Oh, okay, I won. I won. Sorry, thanks. Oh, I have nothing to say. So. Yeah, I was just musing about the game being silly. <laughs> well, Soul Crisis is a big thing, I guess. <laughs> um, by the way, Angst and or Hobo, actually or because they don't have that many diplomatic relations, but um, I have a free diplo slot. I'm wondering if... Uh, I would love to help. Uh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, you're I doing can, a, I can, yeah, like a lion or royal mount, aren't you? You have a royal baron Chang Shang that's going to drop off eventually. So you should be able to ally both of us eventually. Yeah, I think I can I can free up um what's he called? I've got Brunei Malak her to bet. Okay, oh, uh, if, could I've you got... now transfer uh Pegu's holdings to me, Daft? Oh sorry, yep. Uh sure. But I think allowing us Tang is more important than me. Um So all of the uh coast, right? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, just Tibetan vassal and can I punch any money out of them? Does, does it make it worth it? Tibetan vassal, okay. They're negotiating just for themselves. Excellent. And now uh, we will divide uh, Landa along. Oh, hang on. They just uh, rebelled. Uh -huh. uh, but I think we can set peace first. So let's just say. And uh, give up your stuff. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, uh, we need to leave one thing back. Uh, Daft, what's the territory you'd like to let them with? Like, we could leave them with Nan, which is... Maybe you oh, like the whole Luang Namtha, which is the way it's in mountain, London. It's mountains, though, so it would give them a, a mountain capital for it to deal with later. Should be a bit... Um, but okay, I guess what, that's okay. What, that's, that's what, what are our... What's the other options then? Uh, Honestly, so I'd like to have a... Yeah, if I get a land border... Sense. If I get a land border with you, at least one yeah. province, um, allow me to break off from... Uh, Shang Shang and free up a diplo slot. So. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, and uh, yeah, you can finish off Lan uh, whenever you so wish. Yeah, I'll just build a big stack of artillery at some point, I guess, and go after them. Boom, 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 boom down. Well, I mean, it's... I see a Spanish ship exploring Kamchatka, so that's good. Yeah, they have all the way to uh, Indian Ocean Island, so they uh, know how to get here. You know what? I sort of feel like it's... Let's see, what's my aggressive expansion at? I think uh, I, in a very short while, I'm going to go to war with Prom and Sipa. We must destroy the Proman Empire. Furthermore, Proma must be destroyed. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, let's see. So I've got one Diplo slot, so I can ally with... Actually, oh wait, no, I've got two now. What the heck? Uh, so... Did Chang Sheng break our alliances Mayor. with me? They decided they didn't like me. Yeah, your Royal Mayor Chang Sheng died off. Which is fine, I'm going to... chip away on my side of them in... four years. Yeah, um, so Hobo and or Angst, would either of you like to do any uh, alliance stuff? Yeah, uh, like, uh, I think it's a prioritized tank. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's just locks, but, but uh, uh, I'm not definitely up on alliance. I have hey, Def, do you want to go to another war in the same area right away? Um, sure. I just moved all my like troops to... away, but... Uh, hang on, actually, I should check to see if any of these places have, like cores that would be okay so that would stop me from ex getting mong pie that's all so i'd have to stop coring mong pie for a little bit how much ex aggressive expansion is mong pie providing me oh it's only seven percent so as long as i stay at 90 percent and under we're good okay well uh i am going to declare war oh good they just had a rebellion pop up too Uh, I'm going to launch a war 
Pro, pro, oh, wait, hang on. They just allied Bengal. So who's Siapa allied with? One fine. Oh, uh, would you like uh, would you like to take out uh, Moan Fuang by any chance? Um, the little orange he... guys near north. I... Sure. Are they allied with someone They're you want to? They're allied with right? Siapa, and I'm going to go towards Siapa. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, certainly. Hang on. I don't have a I don't have a CP on them, so hold on a second. I have, uh, have to fabricate a claim I, first. I just got the event, the riches of China, to end the Chinese Emperor, which gives me a claim on the, an area. But since it's Korea, it gives me a claim on an area in Korea. <laughs> yeah, sure. Totally. Yeah, just even see where you're getting a claim here. That's weird. Uh, sure. Just uh, kind of need to, since I've been killing so much, my relations with the Khmer have uh, deteriorated considerably. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, improve relations right now, actually. Yeah, I just have negative the thing is, This would give me an opportunity to fight Bengal and just Bengal, which is kind of nice. But I feel like I'd want to do that at the start of a new session. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how's the time for you, by the way? Check check your clock and think about tomorrow. Yeah, so it's, it's um, quarter past 3 a.m. in the morning here, so I would like to uh, finish up. I, I think this, this is probably a good spot for us to finish up. Because yeah, I'm at, yeah. like I've got an opportunity to go to a great big war with Bengal, but I don't want to do that when I'm also reading my D and D campaign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wouldn't be able to to do do justice to either thing, but I do want to take advantage of this opportunity. So I think this is a good spot for us to like wrap up in the next couple minutes. I think so. Yeah, because I, I don't want to be too sleepy tomorrow for uh, Stellaris and everything. So. Uh... Yeah. And uh, yeah. you still up for uh, for some amount of um, of EU four after we take a post Solaris break? Yeah, I right. um, I won't be able to go as late as I did yeah, last oh, week. Of course, yeah. Uh, but it's, I kind of overdid a bit, and it was quite rough on Monday. Yeah. For me. Yeah, but, well, uh, Mondays are rough in general. Well, yeah. All right. So shall we? Uh, shall we pause up here? Uh, everyone's at peace. Everyone's good to go. I'm at peace. Uh, how oh, is the Shiba bonkers? I don't know. I'm fine with stopping. Okay, let me see one last thing here to make sure I have Oops. everything. I just had a line. funny lag moment that happened. I just repaid loan, repaid loan, repaid loan, and then I had to take a new loan immediately because I repaid too many loans. And then uh, I went to minus 200 because it just lag accepted that I was able to repay the loan. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Well then. Especially annoying because those were... I, I deliberately took um, loans from my uh, merchants. Yeah. Also, I physically can't ally Tibet because Tibet's too angry at me and I can't do a royal marriage because Tibet has become a uh, holy yeah, state. Obviously. Well, you could improve relations with me. Or have you already done that? I, I It's already at max. It's the already at they max? Have, the fact they have a negative... The improved relation is at 97 on that side. And... Well, it it just... You know, new year, so it was at max. Is it alright? Isn't it 200 the maximum that you can improve? Uh, yeah. But... No. Uh, uh, not just for normal. allies. Uh, we are saving now. I just want to have it confirmed. So I, because I'm, oh yeah, I'm naming as my yeah. my note. Okay, so let's Let see. Let me uh, take the and... take the screenshots. What are you doing, okay. there, Egg? And vessel. Sodom. Uh, colonize. Uh, plus. Uh, expansion of deals. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's save it here. Oh. All right. I've got my new to do.
Yeah, oh, jeez, I I don't know what I want. Oh, God, Russia is approaching. How how big is Russia? Uh, what's the country like? I am uh, mostly. Oh, I can't click them. That's annoying. I just need to do Chang Shang and you, and then I will probably uh, take the mandate from Korea. I'm sure they'll try to fight me the moment they border me here. And they are very much east. So I could have Tang on my side. Eh. <laughs> I think I Russia guess... probably has like 100k troops at this point. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm so close to having a coastline. <laughs> 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 The thing Just is, imagine. like, there's so many yeah. strong nations that stop me from getting coastline. It's like, I can't push through Tang, of course, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to push through Changsheng, and Khmer and Tang have a border, so there's no getting to the ocean there. There's no point in going to the Arctic, and I'd also have to get colonist ideas to even be able to do that. Bengal's been, too, been slightly stronger than me the whole game, so I've never been able to fight Bengal on an even footing. All right, I just clicked, by the way, Russia has 130,000 troops. Oh, have we saved, what? by the way? And they are allied with England, Kiev, and Emirati. But England, yeah. I... So, um, fun fact, I completed my quality, sorry, uh, quantity ideas. So, nice. um, when you complete them, it gives you plus 50 land uh, force limit. So... Okay. I can now get up to 98 uh, land units. Nice. That's almost so as that's much almo as me, because I can do 100... Wow. Uh, wow. I'm going yeah. to grab offensive ideas next. Can confirm you are very offensive. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, I want to get the expansion f up as much as possible, as quick as possible. Um, I need so much, goddamn... I feel like uh, Power Man. one thing so. that I, uh, there's no sense in getting quality, I think, because although quality is nice, it's got a bunch of things that are useless for Tibet, whereas at least I can use all of offensive. Yeah, I usually like, get offensive and defensive or quality, honestly. Well, um, quality it, has it, good stuff for infantry combat, cavalry combat, yeah. but then you got ship durability and morale of navies and naval attrition, all of which mm. suck. So, like, it, four, three it out also of eight are depends, bad. It depends on the policy as well. Yeah. That's true, that's, actually. That's a good point. But yeah, when Russia arrives, I will not be in uh, any way able to fight them, so I... Yeah. So, Underhanded Hopefully. Diplomacy Act, useless. Dip, like, bonus mercenary manpower, I'm not going to be using that. Modern Siege Weapons, Leader Siege Siege Ability, that's kind of nice, I guess. You really good. Quanti uh, quality ideas gives me access to uh, professional diplomatic core for reduced war exhaustion and improved diplomatic rep. I don't need that. And infantry combat ability 10%, which is nice. Not not world breaking, but pretty good. If you actually do economic to cheapen your uh, development of your lands eventually, I am uh... probably going to get economic. Quality and economic is an extra 5% discipline as well. Oh, yes, that's a good point. And uh, what does economic do with, with offensive, if anything? Uh, it doesn't do anything with offensive, so... There's a kind of funny thing with uh, with Afghanistan, is they keep on refusing to send me stuff, but they're like, we're happy to be your tributary, we're just not going to pay you any sort of tribute. And I'm like, okay, can you pay me a little <laughs> tribute? Come on, Afghanistan. I like you. <laughs> I want to see Afghanistan succeed because honestly, I don't particularly want any of the stuff that they have. They're not extending into nodes that are important or useful to me. I am so afraid of Russia. It's just coming. And they'll oh, get yeah, Britain yeah. with yeah. them. Oh, yeah. so, uh, Can you see it on the map yet? Yeah. Uh, 140,000 troops. Oh, yeah, I will no. need to do like a massive alliance with you guys as soon as possible. Um, Alexei Rurikovich 535. Uh, are you fighting the, the Oirat, by the way, at some point? Am I fighting Oirat? I've been waiting to yeah. fight Oirat because I know Tang has been wanting to fight Oirat to get Shun or something. Yeah, I've, been, I've slowly actually been making claims on the whole uh, border between me and Oirat. Mm. That's fair. That's, can't you only claim one thing? 
Well, I was making claims on me uh, on uh, Shun or Rat in Mongolia. Ah, and... I see. Fortune. Well, yeah, and well. Uh, let's see. So I want to fight Udeke. Yeah, I'll just um, I'll grab whatever Central Asian stuff you feel doesn't deserve to be part of China. Yeah, I kind of want to flatten the. Uh... Oh, what about trade? Trade. You want you want all of the Xi'an well, you meant, and Beijing, like obviously humans going to end up being divided one way or another. Or I guess it doesn't have to be, but yeah, and I guess I kind of don't want the stuff that I fabricate claims on for Corching because I just realized that's in the Garen node. So mm. I was going by areas of like what's going to look the nicest. But well, yeah. honestly, it's not a bad idea to just build attractive borders. Hmm. Like, like, oh, that across. one has a nice flat line on it. <laughs> Like, it's not like a uh, Girin will be that good. Um, it anyways. will be. It will be. Well, and also, yeah, really? eventually we'll get to fight Russia. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Like, I'm so prepared for that. I have a... I have... I have a... Actually, I have 52,000 troops, I said. Not, not too bad. But, you know. Yep, it's gonna be fun. Especially with the, the East Asian soldier types. And I am oh, gradually tips, accepting other cultures, so I've got Uyghur as an accepted culture now. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, well, uh, when you fight Oira and stuff, I am really want to fight Udege at some point. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll let you know when I fight them, because chances are um, I'm going to beat up Oira hard enough that they won't come into a... That they won't come back. Coming to help Udege. I mean, I'm going to. What I'm probably going to do is uh, fight Chang Shang and you to get those two. And then I am going to take the mandate from Korea because if I look at the gym. Uh, I'll get more. A uh, couple more claims on uh, Shun that I can't get. And uh, I've more or less fixed the devastation. Throughout China, like uh, Guangdong Island is uh, really the only place that's devastated anymore, and I have a fort fixing that. So mm. I will uh, now that I have a large enough army and have cleared out a lot of the fluff. I, whenever I declare war, I should be able to keep the enemy on their side, so I won't have any devastation. So everything will be fine. All right. Well, I'm going to head off. Uh, all right. Good night. All right. Yeah, thanks. Well, I thanks a lot. I'm you're still here. Go to sleep. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, like, hearing straight notice. Just, just massive. Jesus. Christ. I am. I'm so amused by how close Khmer, Japan, and Tibet are. Just jockeying over last place. Like you're <laughs> yeah. five twelve. And 504, and I'm at 499. So I'm like, guys, I'm uh, almost power. <laughs> but there's a bunch of really big guys who are sitting there. Like, Tang's not going anywhere. Ottoman, Spain, France, Russia. England is the only mm. vulnerable one. And I think we might be able to outpace England if they're not colonizing craft. Mm. But I'm a scared yeah, that they're colonizing not that craft, much. And that means they're going to be growing. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I'm going to have so much fun because I'm going to both face Russia and the colonizers in America. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be so yeah, fun. You, you've emerged. You've emerged from the Thunderdome. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I did lose, like, they actually just once, right? I only got yeah. knocked out once. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. I actually expected, like, them to, like, five times or something. So I have managed to basically take out almost all of the Shan principalities, and now we're pushing down into coastal Burma. So, oh, also like, I... Pegu is now my, my vassal. Yay. I don't have a coastline, but I'm gonna vassalize someone who does. Ugh. I mean, I couldn't have... 
I, I, I don't have borders. I couldn't have gotten claims. I don't have... What if um, does you have Changsheng as a tributary? These are all fine questions. You and Changsheng has 3,000... I mean, I guess it's stronger, but oh my god. You has had Changsheng since you was like... You know, had like 10 provinces? I, got, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I can't wait to conquer Korea at some point. It's just I have no naval... Like... And I'm, uh, Jesus Christ, I have 60, 60 fucking boats. I, oh, I that's, that's, that's what I want to go through Udega because in, I guess I can get through Jingsao and just, just march in and something. I don't know. Um, yeah, because otherwise if, you'd have to outnumber seven heavy ships. Well, if, if we do nine things, I can send you my fleet. I've got eight heavy ships and like 30 white ships. 